these islands, which are treasures. There aren't many archipelagos like this on Earth or in the history of other planets, so we need to bear witness. For me, it's very exciting. So, you again here. Yes, I know. It's a long history. It goes back 25 years exploring Capolinos, connecting to Mars, and you brought me here. Thank you, Manuel. Two times now. Yes, I know. So, it has to be many more. Yeah, we hope. I mean, look at this place. It's a perfect laboratory for all that we hope to understand. And think of the kids that could learn from just talking about this place. As you said, the church. It is. Why? It's a church to the volcano science of oceans and volcanoes building islands as in the Azores and other places. I mean, where else can you see this up close and just walk up to it? Look at the people. It's spectacular, you know? And you can imagine living here, watching it erupt, watching it change. The next hundred years of life of Capolinos, I mean, the kids of today will see that. So for me, that's, that is like a church. It's a, it's a scientific religion. And uh, can I say that NASA for you is a cathedral? Oh, it is. <laughs> and so, you know, we build cathedrals in our minds of people who learn and, and witness things. And so when we build missions to study volcanoes, to study deep space like James Webb, it takes time, you know, it takes time to learn, to build this great facility, to watch it live and grow. And time is how it took to build cathedrals. And we still have them here on Earth. So we have new cathedrals now. And you, you strongly believe that will be a, a rapidly disruption of knowledge? Oh, I do. I think, I think, Manuel, we're in a time of digital exploration. Everyone can connect information, new views of things, drones, satellites, people, underground, radars, sonars. It's explosive. We can map the under the water from space, from submarines. I can't wait to see what we learn. It's a beautiful planet. And she's a tough, tough cookie. So understanding her and think, think about 500 years ago when the early explorers like Magellan, they tried to cross these oceans and they knew nothing. They had no views. They didn't know what a volcano in the ocean was like. And even though they, they break ground. That's right. They prevailed, they traveled around the Earth. They orbited Earth by water. And that's hard, but they did it. And now we do it by ship, we do it by plane, but we orbit the air, and we orbit every 90 minutes in the International Space Station. So we've come a long way. You know, you think of it, 500 years, and the planet is now a place we know better. I think we will see ocean worlds like Earth through their atmospheres light years away. And we'll imagine maybe science fiction got it right. There will be these places that someday people will figure out how to visit themselves. And James Webb will show us the way for the next 10 years. All those kids, they'll grow up as the web generation, not the internet web, the, the spacecraft the web. Pretty cool. Fantastic. Yep. To learn about the volcanoes and the sea and the life and protecting our environment and looking for environments like this in other worlds, that's coming. And we have the tools now. I just can't wait to get started and 